Okay, catapult troubleshooting. Um, so you have a catapult. Maybe it's prettier than mine. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Um, and it fires. That's good. <laughs> you already have the first step. Uh, what you're thinking about now that you're troubleshooting is, is it firing straight? Um, so I don't know if you noticed on this one, the spoon is crooked. So that means it's going to fire slightly crooked every time. Now, you could always aim to adjust for that, or you could fix the spoon. Again, it's, 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 um, it's thinking about what's wrong and how you can fix it, reasonable ways to fix it. Um, maybe it doesn't go far enough. You have to think about, do I have enough springiness? Um, is the paper bending enough, or whatever is bending? Is it bending enough? Is it bending too much? Um, you need to think about that. And then um, there's also power. In terms of consistency, if I pull it down to here and fire, it's not going to be the same as if I pull it all the way down and fire. Um, so do you have a spot maybe marked or maybe a little bar where you're going to pull it down to that same height every time or are you just going to hope that you fire it the same way every time? You can think about that too. Um, so hopefully if you have those three main things that you're thinking about you can redesign this and make it even better so that it goes further, <laughs> um, it's more accurate left to right and then it's also you're having consistent power apply because uh, if you don't have that, then you're going to have a hard time taking the data that you need, and you're going to have a hard time getting it in the bowl three out of five times. Thank you.